these are 190s so we're gonna see if this fixes our uh, lean on wide open throttle problem and if uh, end up being too rich um, you know we'll just drill up from the uh, stock size jets so Alright guys, so I didn't have it on video, but the 190s actually didn't end up being um, big enough. I uh, was still getting like AFRs of 14s to 17s on wide open throttle. So ended up with like some 198 jets in there actually. And now um, AFRs are like showing in the 13s when I uh, go on wide open throttle in seconds. So I think with... A little bit of um, timing advance. Uh, I should see 12s um, and some other mods. But I picked up this DinoJet um, jet kit from GP Bikes. So this comes with the adjustable needles that we'll need to um, help uh, lean out the... Uh, hopefully, it'll allow us to hopefully lean out acceleration because it'll allow us to set needle heights. Whereas I believe... Um, this has the stock needles with no um, height adjustment. And it also comes with this uh, single D tool that'll allow us to uh, back out the pilot jets and set idle uh, a little fatter, meaning um, enriching it a little bit. To uh, back out the pilot jets about a quarter turn each and then um, you know throw it back on. Special shout outs to Dan Monroe for coming yesterday to help me um, refit my cams because uh i misunderstood the bentley um last video i told you guys i was uh leaking from the cam seal and it was definitely the cam seal um i thought both cams had to come out when actually it was just a few cam bearings on the exhaust side that had to come out to do the uh what i'm gonna call it here cam seal so So carbs are off and you can see here are the pilots right there. One, two, three, four. We're just going to use our tool here. This guy. Not going to show it on camera because it's a little hard. Um, but we're just going to back these off a quarter turn and hopefully it'll take us from 14.0 to like 13.5 at least. Hopefully. Here goes. All right, so pilot just have been backed out a quarter turn, just like I showed you guys. Again, that controls um, idle AFRs. We'll see when we start the car later. It's a little early right now, but in a few hours, we'll start the car. See how AFRs change and if our RPM change. And if it did, since we fanned it up a little bit, we'll adjust RPM with this guy here. And then, um, 
yeah, that, uh, we'll see where we're at, but it should be better than where it was. I was like 14.0, so hopefully that did a trick. Um, we'll throw the filters back on, but I'll just show you guys where, you know, improvements can be made. Um, these filters, you can see, like, my, my buddy Chris had to hot glue, re-hot glue one of them, because um, they come like this from the factory, and they're just pretty bad. Um, my wife's done this one, and it's already starting to fail. Uh, I don't want to pull on it, but yeah, they're pretty bad. Also, um, this piece actually blocks air. So I think I'm gonna um, switch these off for like some Ram Air socks or something that just like slip on over these bad boys. Um, so I'll be ordering those shortly. Hopefully those will be a better, you know, better part for this car. Dan also pointed out yesterday that I'm due for some motor mounts. It was shaking pretty horribly from the back here. So we'll have to figure that out. Um, I figure if we're gonna do that, we might as well do all three. So you'll see after we tweak those AFR, uh, I mean those uh, pilot needles, back them off a quarter turn, you can see it's in the 13s now at idle. And that's uh, warmed up too. So we're good there. All right, y'all, so now we're gonna take this choke slide off because it's in the way of uh, the top covers. Um, we'll pull one of the top covers off and I'm gonna show y'all um, the diaphragm inside and how to take the needle out. Now we're gonna compare the stock needle to the length of this needle and uh, where the washer is on the stock needle. And hopefully um, setting this a little leaner will help the transition of acceleration, moderate acceleration, um, like lean it out a little bit. And right now it's a little rich. It's like seeing like 10s, 11s, like you want it to be at like 12s, 13s kind of thing. this cap down is the moment we let go of it there's a spring that'll like shoot it up if we're not careful so apply pressure keep it pushed down and then slowly bring it up once this last screw is off here see I'm gonna show y'all see springs kind of right here that's a spring Just look at the diaphragm. I'm gonna show y'all right here. So this thing ideally should just lift up. Y'all gotta be careful not to rip it. Uh, 
Uh huh. Right there. Right there. You kind of get it off its seal without ripping it. It got to be like extra gentle. Like that. All right. Pulls out. There's a needle. And there's a needle. Um, we have to pull this top piece off so we can slide the needle out. So you can use one of these. So we're gonna screw the, this in right here and then pull it off. So give me two seconds. Yeah, so you just thread the uh, cap screw in and um, Wiggle it back and forth till it, this piece comes off, right? Set it down here. And now, you can see the needle's exposed, so you, you can like literally push out. So I'm just pushing it up with my pinky finger there. If you look down there, there should be a washer in there. You gonna leave that in there. See, it falls right out. All right, so y'all, so I cleaned up a bit. Um, more surface area to work on. But here's this stock needle right here. And here's the DinoJet needle right there, right? And you can see how this tapers up. I mean, tapers down a lot sooner, like a lot earlier than the uh, stock needle. And you can see also like the diameter here at the end of the DinoJet is a lot slightly bigger than than the uh stock needle the dino jet kit actually comes with looks like a set of extra jets for us to play with like later on so we don't have to keep buying stuff so it's like 118s and some what are these like 122s but they are unmarked i think actually no never mind they are marked up on the top but like later on if you want to like you know, get mad crazy about drilling some jets later on. We got some extra jets. And the Dino Jet kit also comes with springs, I guess, to replace the, uh, the stock ones. They're, they're kind of shorter, though, so I hope that's okay. Um, they're shorter than the, a uh, lot shorter than the stock spring. So, whatever, you know, we'll try that. We'll, we'll run that um, along with the needles and see what happens, right? But yeah, that's where we're at. So remember when we um, tipped the uh, diaphragm down earlier and this washer came out? So this washer actually stays down there upon reassembly and they've got a second set of washers to go on top of the needle to press up against this piece right here. So that's that's reassembly basically, um, reverse of you know disassembly. But yeah, so it'll be um, diaphragm piece washer inside, needle in, and then another washer on top of the needle, into this, and then just slapping this cap back on. Pretty what simple. Are you doing? So they're just trying to take this, uh, I don't know, what do you call this, Chris? Off the diaphragm. It's like the, the thing that holds the needle down. I don't know the technical term for it, but to get it off, it's like you take a, the, one of the um, cap screws and just wiggle that thing out eventually it comes out like that right and then you can like push the needle up there it is there and there should be like a, a washer at the bottom right there so now we're just gonna set it with a this thing throw it here and Oh, it's like a little retaining washer? Yeah, it's a little retaining washer. And at the top here, we're going to guide the uh, second washer. Like... Oh, so you sandwich the C-clip between yeah, two washers? Yeah, you sandwich the C-clip between two washers. Slowly. Oh, crap. It's kind of hard to get because you have to, like, guide that second washer down and make sure it doesn't fall out of alignment. It's a good thing I checked number one because, like, when, <laughs> when I... Uh, when I redid it, it like it had fallen off. Mm. So, but yeah, it's like 
to guide it down like that. Let me just get in there. It's harder when it's uh at the top most, right? Let me see what you got. Ooh. There you go. Oh. See? See how it's sitting like Let's see if I get a shot of that. Right at the top? Yeah? Oh yeah. And this thing goes back only one way. So push down. Hopefully that washer didn't come off. It's a little different than the R ones, but very similar process. Yeah, you hear that click? Yeah. That's good. Pull this off. And back in she goes. Yeah. And then I guess it's just rinse and repeat for right the other there. three. Yeah. Oh, okay, there you so go. So slides down, make sure the diaphragm's sitting flush against the lip there. And that's it. And then you take the cap, get the new spring. Like that. So the spring goes on there. And secure it with a bolt. Grab the uh, handy dandy. Uh, and what's the screwdriver called again? It's, it's JIS. It's Japanese um, Industrial Standard. So it's like standard for all like the Japanese like bike stuff. There you go. And repeat. And it's a repeat. There you go. Carb time with JC. <laughs> All right, so after doing that a couple times, um, first we tried the topmost setting, which was way too lean. I was seeing like 16, 17, 18 on axle <laughs> to quickly like pull the car in and redid it again, um, did the middle setting, and um, we were back to where we started basically. So that was a little too rich for my taste. Um, so only place left was second from the top. So that's where we ended up. Um, yeah, so I think she's all dialed in, man. Main jets, um, 200s. Idle jets are, well, which are the pilot jets, are stock. Um, not sure how many turns away because I never measured. I just backed them off a quarter um, from how they were set from um, how I, where, when I got them. And finally, the, uh, the needles. Uh, the needles, I'm second from the top. So using the Dino Dino Jet Stage 1 um, needle kit. Well, jet kit, but the needles from the jet kit. Okay, well, hope you learned something. Um, comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try to answer to the best of my abilities. Um, next for me would probably get, you know, the uh, Ram Air filters on. So um, that's where we're at. Um, tune in next time. Uh, I'm going to get this car ready for some autocross, so it's going to come up on the height. And... Um, the uh, Kose K1s are going to be thrown on. So it's going to look a little different, but who knows? So until next time, um, set yourselves apart. Peace.